headphones, and glue that you just want to drink. Watch our new video and find out weird ways to sneak food into class. Dolly and Cindy are real sweet tooths. They turn class into a candy paradise. But Miss Penny Poppins appears out of nowhere and makes them forget about food. Sweet life is over. All candies will be brought to the principal's office right now. Miss Penny Poppins introduces a new diet. No sugar in class. The only thing we should digest in class is knowledge. Dolly needs some shine in her notes. Perfect! Cindy has glittering glue. And one more tube that's a little strange. It will make not only your notes nice, but also your tongue. Wait! Don't try to glue your tongue right away. Here, take my glue instead. It's edible. Empty glitter glue tubes and clean them thoroughly. Pour Sprite into a glass. Put colorful food glitter into the clean tubes. Fill a dropper with Sprite and pour it into the tube. Make a few containers with colorful glitter. The girls drink glittering cocktails out of the glue tubes. Miss Penny Poppins wasn't expecting this turn of events. She rushes to give first aid. But there is no need for that. The girls are all right. You should also have a glittering cocktail. But Miss Penny Poppins turns the offer down. Teachers don't look good with glittering tongues. The girls decide to munch on some pens. Take long Twizzlers and fondant of the same colors. Shape it into cones. Cut a ballpoint pen refill. Make a hole in the fondant using an awl and stick the refill inside. Insert the tip of the pen into the candy. These are actually sweet pens. And the best part is that Miss Penny Poppins can't accuse us of anything because we use them to take notes. But our teacher is the real deal. She easily bites a blackboard sponge when she sees how skillfully we bite off pens. Cut a sponge cake in half. Roll out orange fondant to make a thick layer. Cut it to be the same size as the sponge. Attach the fondant and sponge together with buttercream. Add a label with black food coloring. The teacher takes up the challenge. She eats a blackboard sponge. And she earns some respect in our sweet challenge. Biting off a piece of a pen doesn't seem like such a creative idea now. Our teacher feels her power over the world. An earthquake starts once she shakes the globe. Oh, what's going on? Penny opens up the globe. Now all of humankind is in her hands. Take a globe off its stand and cut it along the equator. Put some gummy men inside. Close and put it back on the stand. Miss Penny Poppins ruthlessly eats the nations of the world. She has already eaten Diego, Jessica, and Vasily Petrovich. It looks like she's never going to stop. And now she eats Cindy, too. No! Dolly is next in line. Say goodbye. Ahem. <clears throat> it looks like someone got tired. Wake up, Miss Penny Poppins. Enough sleeping. The girls decide to sneak sweet headphones right in front of the teacher. Shape Frutella candies into headphones. Lightly sprinkle them with cornstarch. Unwind a gummy wheel. And divide it in half lengthwise. Tie one strip in the middle of the other one and fasten the knot with a Frutella ring. Shape a plug. Make a hole with a toothpick and stick one end of the gummy wire into it. Use a toothpick to copy speakers on the headphones. Add left and right signs with a black food marker. And define the speakers. Attach the earphones to the wire with edible glue. Draw threads on the plug with a marker. 
The girls are just watching an educational video on a phone. The teacher should watch it too. Hurry up, Miss Penny Poppins. You have to see this and listen to it. Hurry up, put on the headphones. It's strange, the teacher can't hear anything for some reason. The only thing she can hear is Dolly munching. She has already eaten half of the wire. Miss Penny Poppins is amazed by how much her students love technology. Dolly gets wires and Cindy eats the earbuds. Where's that sound coming from? That's not a school bell. Or maybe it's somebody reading aloud or scratching their head. It's actually the girls chewing gum because they've got a perfect disguise. Paint a tape dispenser pink. Print an image of Hubba Bubba and cut it out and attach it to both sides of the dispenser. Everyone knows that blowing bubbles in class is not allowed. But Miss Penny Poppins definitely hears someone munching. And here is the evidence. A pack of Hubba Bubba. The girls get busted. Calm down, Miss Teacher. It's just tape. We know a ton of ways to sneak sweets into class. For example, this stylish keychain. I bite it off right from the pencil case. But Miss Penny Poppins is always a step ahead. She started using this technique for the brooch on her blazer a long time ago. Take cube-shaped jelly candies. Dissolve confectionery glue in water. Make a cut in the candy and attach a keychain ring inside. Attach a badge pin to the other candy. It turns out that our idea is not that new. Bravo, Miss Penny Poppins! You are a school life hack professional, too! Miss Penny Poppins also loves crunching on school supplies. For example, she eats a few magnets from the blackboard. Take fondant of bright colors. We've got red, yellow, and green. Make circles with a round cutter. Make a groove along the edge with a modeling tool and color the circle inside with black food coloring. Make it look like a magnet. Paint smiles on the backside with food coloring. Now it's time for the girls to be amazed. Eating so many magnets at once? That much plastic can poison you! Miss Penny Poppin's secret is that the magnets are made from fondant, so they won't harm your stomach. Dolly really wants to eat candies, but how can she do it without anyone noticing? Miss Penny Poppins will definitely notice. Cindy has an idea. She treats Dolly with thumbtacks. Take thumbtacks out of a container. Draw a layout of a rectangular box on cardboard. Cut it out and bend using a ruler. Glue the box into the container where the label is. Glue the corners. Put candies inside. Fill the empty part of the plastic container with thumbtacks. It looks like Cindy studied too much and ran out of brain power. Everyone knows that eating thumbtacks is very dangerous. Ha! Ah, Dolly clearly doesn't understand anything about being sneaky. No one's making you prick your tongue with a thumbtack. There are actually candies hidden in this box. I will borrow a pencil sharpener from my friend. But something is wrong with it. It's not a pencil sharpener. It's a box of Tic Tacs. Put Tic Tacs into a big pencil sharpener. Close the cap. Miss Penny Poppins is on the hunt for sweets. She takes away our innocent pencil sharpener according to her new rules. There won't be any sweets on this desk. The pencil sharpener is sent to the Camp of Sweet Outcasts in the bottom drawer of the teacher's desk. Miss Penny Poppins has a habit. She loves using her teeth to open markers. We can use that for our next prank. Add a drop of blue food coloring to fondant and knead it. Roll it out to make a thick twist. Cut one end off. Make a groove inside. Make a clip from one more piece of fondant and attach it to the cap.
Dolly sneaks her marker with Sweet Cap to the teacher. Miss Penny Poppins can't tell the difference even when she has her glasses on. But once she bites the cap, as she usually does, she figures out that it's not plastic. She ate some blue coloring. The girls won't get away with it this time. The revenge of the blue cuttlefish awaits. Run for your lives! Did you like our edible school ideas? Then write in the comments how you will sneak food into class. And don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new school life hacks on Troom Troom.